with a package is the second router from Stolen. The reason we've got the another one is my dad was using the wrong card. Okay guys, so let's start unboxing. First, we're gonna be unboxing the solid router and the dish. Oh yeah. Jimbo! <laughs> Look how bad the Jimbo is. Uh, it's fixed! Finally, my Jimbo is. Oh, you see? You see? Oh, guys, I was too angry and I started to punch the Jimbo simply because it fails too often. Sorry guys for another full video of me unboxing this thing. I'm keeping an eye off the camera. And ta-da! Now we're gonna open the box. Okay. Looks like an axe. We got a strong link dish. Looks like a solar panel. We got the stickers, the router, which we have the orbit logo, our strong cable, which this end connects to the router. And finally, the AC power adapter. Oh, I forgot. We have regulatory notices. I don't have much time to read it. Oh, guys, so we're gonna install this tomorrow. I wish I can install this today, but it is evening and I have my Madrid online class. We have the second strolling Ethernet adapter. Yeah, finally. The strolling port and the Ethernet port. Of course, let's pack them. After unboxing, let's install our stalling dish. Okay, we're gonna be installing it right there. Let's install it on the roof of the water tanks, which is the highest point. Now we're gonna unpack them. Okay, let's go. First, we're gonna install the mounting base. To prevent the strong from falling due to high winds, we're gonna install the wires along with the mounting base. Take the plier to cut some of the excessive wires. Oh gosh, let's go on the top on this roof. Wow. Okay, they're bringing the big ladder. My phone is going to fly right now. Holy spit. Oh, it's gonna be scary. Luckily, my dad is helping me. The roof could be fragile. <laughs> now we're gonna see one of my dad's employees installing the wires along with the mounting base. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Finally. Now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's focus on the small The wind is shaking the ladder. Okay, this is my shirt. I guess we can fly the kite in here. Luckily, my dad is holding the ladder. Tighten them up. Again, my phone is going to fly. 
It looks like I cannot get there, you know. Let's test it out to make sure it is not moving. And the wire installation is done. Now we're gonna install the scrolling dish on the mounting base. RIP left. Before we can install our scrolling dish on the mounting base, we need to cover this part of the cable with a piece of hose to prevent it from being exposed to sunlight. And tighten the hose up with the command strips. Oh my god, my phone is going to fly again. Looking for you. Look, my phone is going to fly, I swear. And to prevent the cable from unplugging easily, we secure the cable like this. To fasten this process, I decided to stop recording to help my dad out to get the cable into the hose. Okay, from now on the cable is protected. Tighten the rest of it. And done. The cable is now protected from the sunlight. Now we can install our strolling dish on the mounting base. And it's finally installed. Now we're gonna get our strolling cable down to test it out. But wait, not yet. My dad is very busy, so about a week later, again, let's get our strolling cable down to test it out. Unpack some of the equipment from our backpack, plug the strolling cable to the router, and plug the router into the power. White indicator. Nice. Let's test it out. Test it <laughs> Wow, it's about 200 megabits. Comparing to our first store link, this is a download speed and this is an upload speed. With the LAN cable, it's quite much faster. It means I have to install the strolling dash on the roof of the water tanks, which again, the highest point to get the better speed. But wait, I have a plan. I'm gonna bypass two strollings into Ruji AX3000. So click here, guys, click here. 